Police are then ready for collection. The local authorities. What's up, guys? It's 6:45 in the morning, and I'm about to leave the hotel to the airport. Eh? No, this way. So the only breakfast I'm having this morning is from Auntie Anne's. Some cheese nuggets that I bought yesterday. I'm not really that hungry, but I'm super thirsty. So hope we can find some water soon. So yeah, we just got jumped by a few police. I got jumped by the police guard right in front of the entrance to the airport. He only wanted to check my PCR. Everyone else just went through. Bro, discrimination against the Adidas drip. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with uh, check-in. I've already put in my luggage and I had two problems. One was my luggage was oversized, so I had to drop it off at the oversized counter. And secondly, my passenger locator form is not printed out, so I had to print it out at the books and magazine place. So uh, before this, they didn't need to print it out. It's just digital, but for the past week, the officers in London require you to print it out. This is it, my brother. Yo. We're at the last, the last checkpoint. Checkpoint last... in Malaysia. Yeah. If this was a game, this is the last save point. Yep. So I better save. I better stock up on some potion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Are you vlogging already? <laughs> hello, hello Justin. <laughs> hello, your fan. Thank you. Westerly direction for London Heathrow. Finally, I can sit down and settle down a bit before I plan my trip to my college. So most of my friends are taking uh, private taxis and uh, coaches or vans, but uh, I plan to take the underground. It's a bit risky because, you know, I have to figure out how to get there. Uh, I could get lost, but, you know, it's an adventure. I'm trying to explore things before I get uh, to my college and just have a feel of the, the area, I guess. Also to take away my, uh, my nervousness as well, you know, because if I can conquer something like this at the beginning of my journey in London, then I'm sure to get by easily, inshallah, in my future travels or journey. Egg mayo sandwich. Hey, halal tak? Halal ni? Ada ni? Halal. Halal. <laughs> Kalau kita tengok dia punya ingredient, Kalau kita yakin, dan semoga halal lah dia. Oh my god, this chocolate thing. Coconut double chocolate. And some water. Wave. Hexo. Bye. Bye. All the best. Heading to the underground. I already bought my ticket. Um, a lady helped me buy it. So I'm heading to Guj Street. Finally exited the underground. I am in Good Street. So now I'll be heading to my college, Astor College, try to Google map my way there. Okay hey guys, uh, it's 7.18pm and I think I finally arrived at Astor College. 
Yep, this is the building. Voila, here's my room. Ta da! As you can see, my first reaction when I first came in was look at all those compartments. Man, look at that. 20 compartments, probably. That's a fine room. This, this is amazing. I mean, like. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. It's, it's night time, so you can't really see. You can only see my reflection. Yeah, there are some trucks. I think there's like a construction happening right in front. Right in f on top of my table is a calendar. Power outlet is similar to Malaysia, I guess. Or you could say Malaysia is similar to the UK, because I'm pretty sure we followed them. I have no idea what this is. Looks like some kind of heater for winter. A bin. My bed looks surprisingly large. I thought it would be smaller because if I'm not mistaken, it was a single bed, but this looks like a three quarter if, if, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Space for me to keep my stuff. There's even a compartment underneath my bed. A bed lamp, which I hope I can adjust. Yes, adjust. There's a desk lamp, there you go. Which has four levels of brightness, three and four. And here's the sink. I was kind of surprised that they had a sink in this room because I thought that we would have to go to the bathroom to wash our hands. So this is super convenient. Yeah, and it's a pretty wide sink. It's pretty big. There's a light here. Ta-da! So I guess this is the light. Yep, that's a light. The weird thing is, it doesn't flip one way, it kinda acts like a bouncy switch. So you click it once and it springs back up, but it's closed. I think this is a magnetic board. I got this box, Noah's box, which is a uni starter kit, which provides you some of the basic stuff that you need during your, your transition to uni, like bedding, for example. Boy, look at this box. It looks like it has been manhandled violently. I think I only ordered bedding, frying pans. Ugh, these are pans, frying pans that I can't even use. The hob in my college is induction. And these are all gas stove or electric. One is induction compatible. That's cool. I'm in trouble. The mattress sheet doesn't cover the mattress. Look at that. Which means my bed is not a single bed. It's slightly bigger than a single bed. So I'm not sure what to do. I think I'll just have to buy a new one. The pillows are kind of lean. They are too soft and feel like there's not much inside. The duvet seems pretty okay. So when I got into my room, I got this thing, this pack. I don't know what it is, so I'm just gonna unbox it. I also got some other kind of mail. I I think it's my COVID day two and day eight test. It's dig in. Boom! Starbucks double shot intenso. Yorkshire tea. Hot pasta. Flashcard game? What? How am I gonna play this with people? I'm isolating by myself. 13 gigabyte for 10 pounds. Reese's puff, Reese's puff. Reese's peanut butter cups miniature. Last but not least, some mentos. Next package. Let's get rid of all these things. Yep, sure is. So the thing is, I have to 
swab myself the second and eighth day of my quarantine and I have to chucho idong sendiri I don't know if I can go as deep as needed I think I will have to mail the tube by post so that they can get it in the lab check for the test and they'll send back the result to me through SMS or email I'm guessing email I forgot to mention that today is Malaysia day so happy Malaysia day Okay, that's pretty much it. So I'm pooped. I am literally pooped. So tired. Alright, see you. Peace out.